Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to estimate the amount of workers you need for a project. So there are certain assumptions that you would need to make to do this estimation. So let's say, for example, we have some historical kind of data. We have something where we have 10 days, 8 hours a day, and it took 5 people to finish a project. So with this kind of assumption, if we want to change the values of the days or hours, we can kind of find out how many workers we might need. And this is based off just a very simple calculation, right? So what we need to do is we need to find a product of these particular variables, right? So I just use the product uh, function. It just multiplies everything. And I'm going to select these, right? And then I'm going to divide it by the product of these two. Product of these two, right? So. If these were the same, it would give us the same target here, 5, right? If I press Enter, we have 5. And to find out if uh, something changes here, let's say we only have 4 hours per day, it would tell us that we would need 10 people. So all things being equal, based on these assumptions, we'd need 10 people if we only had 4 hours a day and we had a 10-day project. Another thing to also consider is this particular division, it does give you um, decimals, right? So if we had maybe six hours, you know, we'd have 6.67, right? And so we don't want to do that. We want to be able to round it. And so probably if we want to be conservative, we want to round up. So for this particular scenario, we're going to just going to say round up, select round up, double click that, and round up to number of digits zero. We don't want decimals. Close parentheses, press enter. So we're going to get seven, right? So let's let's remove the decimal places here. Now, if we didn't want to always try to fiddle with the days and hours and try to figure it out, and we wanted to kind of have a table to let us know how it would show based on some days and some hours, we can put together, whoops, we can put, let me get rid of that B, we can put together what's called a two variable data table. Now, I'm going to set it up where we have uh, the days, uh, the hours going across. So I'll type one, two, and then just use my fill handle to bring that across. You can see that we increment it. You see those little uh, icons show up at the bottom. It's incrementing 1 to 8. And we'll also do the same here, 1, 2, and bring the fill handle down. Let's just say we have 14 days here, right? And we're going to take a reference. This corner cell is going to take a reference here. It's going to take that formula that's over there and use it for the data table. Now, the data table is one of those fabulous type of uh, what if kind of scenario things you can see it put it uh, it referenced nine there right so to incorporate the data table what I need to do is just select this whole table here or this whole range and then go under I think it's formulas or data and we go under what if and what if we would select data table and the row input cells the input cells I want from our rows these are the hours so I want the row input cells to be here, right? These are the hours. And then for the column input cells, that column that show down here, I want that to be the input cell. Once I click OK, it's going to calculate it all out and tell me how many people I need based on the days. So these are these are the hours, and then these are the days. Right? So like I said, if like I mentioned, we have eight days. We had eight days, and for six hours, we needed nine people. So nine people shows up here. So instead of always trying to uh, type in something here, like maybe this is four days, and at six, right, four days, at six, we need 17 people. So instead of trying to type it all out, you have a table where you can just cross-reference it, reference it, where I have my days, and then how many hours, and how many people do I estimate that I would need for a project based on uh, some assumptions here. So that's a way that we can estimate the amount of workers that you might need for a project based on some assumptions that you've already historically kind of uh, determined. And you can either have it where you have a one-time deal here and you just base it on this formula. And then if you wanted to kind of play out some different scenarios where you kind of want to figure out how many hours and how many uh, variations of hours and days, you can put together this two variable data table and it'll help you figure out a little bit more quicker instead of always trying to uh, change the numbers here. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.